In my last video, we tested 300 strength versus 300 int, but in this video, I want to test what's the most optimal damage you can do with the blunderbuss. There were some great comments in the last video asking me to test a mix of strength and intelligence as well as the tier 2 and tier 5 int gem. So I'll be testing 6 different combinations of stats as well as the tier 2 and tier 5 int gem to get the best damage stats for the blunderbuss in new world. First I'm going to test the base damage of every stat combination without the gems. Now that we have tested the base damage, what's the breakdown? Well, 350 strength is still pretty good. It's still more than 350 int. So strength definitely wins out. But when we go over to the mix sets or the mix attributes, then you're going to find that 250 strength and 100 intelligence is better than just pure strength. Here you will gain 362 base damage and then you if you look at strength you'll only gain 348 damage so overall if you want to run something with more damage but still have an open slot for a gem then 250 strength and 100 intelligence is the way to go then you can slot in something like an opal to do extra damage after a dodge so you'll still have that slot available to you Next, I want to move over to a tier 2 int gem to see if we get better scaling or even more damage with it. So let's dive straight into the test. Done with the tier 2 gem damage test, let's take a look. Now if we take a look, we're going to see that 350 strength versus 300 in 50 intelligence intelligence start to win out over just pure strength we gain a little bit more damage but nothing too major but it's definitely more the real thing that we should notice is if we start mixing our stats for example the one that wins out here is 250 int with 100 strength we'll gain 393 damage right here over 300 and 78 damage so mixing your stats is definitely worth it but what would happen if we include a tier 5 gem over a tier 2 gem will our damage increase well let's find out for the tier 5 gem base damage we're going to take a look at all the values but as you can see strength still wins out pure strength still wins out over your int here but if we move on a little bit more you're going to see that the mix stats also tells a different story if we go 200 strength 150 int then you're going to see that we do the most damage with this setup with a tier 5 gem so overall i believe that the tier 5 gem is pretty good for strength users in this case if you skew toward strength before the final breakdown, I need to pay the bills. I have recently partnered up with Exit Lag, mainly because I use it to reduce my ping. Living in South Africa is really bad since I basically play with 200 ping. But if you're looking for a VPN that will improve your gaming, as well as your Netflix and chill, be sure to click the link in the description to try out Exit Lag for free for 3 days. And if you like it, you can use code CORE at checkout for 20% off. Now let's get back to the video. So what is the whole breakdown of this video? Well if you take a look at the left bar where I have base damage, tier 2 damage and then tier 5 damage, you'll also notice that I included the crit damage for each tier. This is irrelevant, I just wanted to test it as well but basically if you do a lot of damage, you'll also do a lot of crit damage naturally let's start with the base damage right here if we break down the base damage this is the damage that doesn't include an int gem so you have an extra slot for an opal the one that wins out here is the mix damage where you go 250 strength and 100 intelligence 
Now, if I hover over the base number here, you'll see that if you want a gem slot, you'll do 9.3% less damage compared to having an tier 5 int gem slotted. But you can gain about 5.7% more damage if you slot an opal gem in your slot. But you'll have to dodge to get that extra damage. So it's up to you if you want that extra 5.7% extra damage. But it won't always have uptime. But you'll also do less damage compared to the most int gem damage that you can get. So you'll do about 9.3% less damage if you do not dodge. So that's an option for people that want an open slot for an opal or something else. Now let's move on to a, the tier 2 gem. For example, let's say you want to play just intelligence. What would you do? Well, you can also play just intelligence. And sure, you will be doing more damage than just pure strength because you have an int gem. But let's take a look at my note. Tier 2 gems are better than tier 5 gems if you go with pure int. If you slot a tier 2 gem, you'll get about 7.9 more damage compared to pure strength. But strength will still have a gem slot open. You can get about 7.1% more damage if you slot an opal. But you'll have a condition. And that condition is be having to dodge. And that's basically it. But something really interesting ha happened with the tier 5 gem. The tier 5 gem obviously does the most damage in this whole test if we use a gem. So let's go over it. Tier 5 gem gives you 8.5% more damage compared to the base 250 strength and 100 intelligence that does not have a gem slot slotted. If you slot an opal, you can get about 6.5% more damage, but you'll have a condition before that damage activates. So that's about it. Basically, if you want to run the most auto attack damage without dodging, then you want to run 200 strength, 100 and 50 intelligence to do the most damage and you want a tier 5 gem slotted. If you want to go pure int with example with a blunderbuss and an ice gauntlet, then you want to run 350 intelligence with a tier 2 int gem. If you want to run something with a gem that's not an int gem, then you want to run 250 strength and 100 intelligence. I'm going to leave up this graph for a little bit here just so that you can see what is what. But basically, all that you need to remember is if you go pure int, run a tier 2 gem. If you want to run a mix set and have the most damage without an opal or something, just run 250 strength, 150 int. And if you just want to run something with an open gem slot, go 250 strength and 100 int. I hope this video was helpful. It took me a really long time to make this. So if it was, give this video a like. And if you want to see more videos just like this, then you can subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.